Hi, Aaron Fitz here with Beacon Credit Union. On today's episode of Social 365, we take a trip around the green with the players supporting the Boys and Girls Club of the Danville area in the Beacon Golf Tournament. Check it out. We teamed up with the players of the Beacon Golf Tournament and asked some of life's most important questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need to drive. Um, so Debbie, I have a very important question to ask you. Um, this can come across as being kind of controversial, okay? So, pineapple, does it go on pizza? No, I do not. Give me pepperoni and sausage. Okay. Give me the fruit in my fruit salad. I would say yes. Uh, I have eaten it on pizza and it is good, especially mixed with jalapenos. Is that an odd one? Sure. No, no. Pineapple has no place on pizza. No way. Yeah, none whatsoever. Okay. Okay. That's completely wrong. Hawaiian pizza. Yeah, definitely. But other than that, let's leave it alone. <laughs> Have you ever gotten your golf cart stuck? No, but I've gone down the hill backwards <laughs> with it. It was raining one day and we shouldn't have been on the hill and it, the, I put on a brake and it flipped all the way around and another guy and I went down it backwards. It was very scary. I have, several times. <laughs> when, you're, when you're as bad as a golfer as me and you trek off the golf, golf cart pass, it happens. No. Um, but I do have one of those electrical carts that's got the remote um, and I have um, mistakenly driven it down a ravine. It actually turned on when I wasn't paying attention so I was on a green and I come off a green and when I looked for the cart we couldn't find it. It literally was 15 foot down a hill in rubbish. I mean it was, yeah. Tell us about the Boys and Girls Club. Oh it's an awesome place. Um, we see kids come in that um, you know, literally no one has ever said to them, I believe in you. So they um, get a lot of love and attention. They get a lot of guidance. Um, it's just a great safe place for them to be. Toilet paper, over or under? Oh, definitely over. Okay. Toilet paper, over. Please don't ask me about toothpaste. <laughs> no, you, oh, I have to ask about the toothpaste yeah, now. Go ahead. You definitely have to squeeze it from the bottom. <laughs> over, definitely makes the toilet paper last longer. <laughs> Over. No question. Don't even have to think about that one. I, I don't really make a decision on that as long as the availability is there. So <laughs> I can go either way, over or under. If animals could talk, which would be the rudest? Well, probably for me it would be a sloth because they're so slow and I'm always full speed ahead. An ostrich. Not sure why. <laughs> they like to stick their heads up in, in the ground, so obviously they're not a people person. Mm -hmm. They're going to hide from you. Mm -hmm. So, Cats, for sure. Okay. I have three dogs and three cats, and my cats are not rude. They're very loving, but I think if they could talk, they would just call you out on everything. All right, which superhero would win a game of golf? Superhero that would win a game of golf I mean, definitely Superman. The man's got power, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Batman, because that's been my son's favorite since he was like old enough to know who Batman is. I'm, I'm Batman. Batman. <laughs> How do people get involved with the Boys and Girls Club? Um, you can reach out to me personally uh, to get involved um, or go to our website. Um, if you make a donation there on the website, then I get a record of that. Um, you can put in the notes there that you would like to speak to with, speak with someone and I can reach out to you. Probably the best way though is to just um, either call or come by the club. I'm usually at the Foster Street location at 123 Foster Street in Danville. 